Hello everybody, Moin360s here, and in this video I'm doing a review and walkthrough of the new Microsoft Windows 8.1 update. So before I start this video, if you are interested in updating to Microsoft Windows 8.1 and you have not done so already, I have made a tutorial on how you can update to Microsoft Windows 8.1 and then the, all the information you should know to update, and I'll have uh, the video annotation somewhere on the screen here so you can click on and go to that video before um, you watch this and I highly recommend you actually install Microsoft Windows 8.1 uh, before you watch this video since it will make more sense to you so once we get uh, you get I get Microsoft Windows 8.1 um, this is what it looks like well, the start screen looks almost the same um, not entirely the same first off you get this arrow, the start menu, the start screen, the metro screen, however you want to call it, you get this arrow where you can uh, to get to see the complete list of all apps. Since I assume Microsoft did this change because people didn't know how to press the start, the um, it used to be if you press the space bar and then um, you can get to all apps from here, if you recall. So it just makes it more, I guess transparent and easier for people to see when they want to access all their uh, apps and the other thing um, speaking of apps Microsoft has some new built-in apps and um, some of them are useful I guess some of them I don't really use or care the first one is the scan app pretty self-explanatory connect the scanner and you can just scan uh, whatever you want and the next thing is the reading list app um, it's kind of like Google Reader, I assume, a uh, reading list. Yeah, so pretty self-explanatory. That's one of the apps. And um, alarms, yeah, uh, calculator, excuse me. Calculator looks nice. It looks pretty cool. Um, calculator app, pretty self-explanatory. And I really like the fact that as a converter in it, like how you can convert this, I can just um, get to this app and sort of like search on Google. Which I like, and you also have a scientific calculator, which has more um, options. And the next thing is the oh, the Microsoft this time also has built-in tutorials for Microsoft Windows 8.1. So if you have doubts or anything you don't get about the system or the um, operating system, you can just go over here and it's built-in help and everything. Um, so you should be um, beautiful articles uh, that should get you up and running. And um, I really think that Microsoft Windows 8.1 is really great. Um, I really do enjoy it. Windows 8. Windows 8. I don't have any problems with it. Um, this just makes it even better since I didn't have any problem with the Windows 8. I didn't. You know, I don't really care for the start button since I can have it and I cannot have it. So I can adapt to new changes. I'm not like some people that just. Now the start button, oh, okay, no, the start button is really not that important um, at all for productivity, in my opinion at least. Um, anyways, getting back on topic, the Alarms app, which is really beautiful. I mean, all the apps, what I really like about Windows is their app design language is really, really beautiful. I mean, um, Microsoft uh, Windows has probably the best, be most best looking apps out there because of the metro interface and uh, for example if you're on set alarm set an alarm um, really cool very intuitive and um, you can also set the alarm you can also there's also a timer which is you know helpful and um, useful as well so really Microsoft has gotten a lot of new apps built-in apps just like um, Google and Android so I think it's really great another thing is health and fitness which I guess is probably useful for some of you guys that you know are on a diet and um, uh, doing exercise so you can track your diet and um, human body drugs you can do your nutrition and calories etc etc workouts exercise tracker health tracker symptoms uh, etc so I really think that's really cool and, this, and these are just some of the apps and the other one is food and drink which is if you're someone that's that cooks a lot or interested in cooking this pretty, pretty much is your recipe book um, there are collections um, there are thousands of or even more uh, recipes here beautifully crafted um, you can just take 
a look at some of them and um, make food. So that's really cool. Food and drink. That's called the food and drink app. Um, it's all built in, by the way. You don't have any to install any of these. And um, we have, there are a few couple more, I think. Um, yeah, I think that the these two, um, the all the list right here, the column, this column of apps are all the new apps that Microsoft has included. And as for other apps, um, for example, the store, they're all improved. Um, the apps themselves are much more improved and um, refined, I guess. So the entire idea of Microsoft Windows 8.1, it's it's a minor release. It's not like a you know entire a new release of Windows. It's to refine and fix a few things and add a few things and remove a few things. So it's just kind of one of those uh, updates. And um, it's really great. Um, as you can see, the Facebook app uh, just got onto Windows today, by the way, if you're interested. And... Um, store app looks different and uh, it's also I'll just talk about a few more apps and uh, we'll get on to the rest of the review so uh, there's time weather and um, yeah, just the apps we've seen before and they they removed the messaging app by the way um, since they want everybody to use Skype which by the way Skype is absolutely amazing on Microsoft Windows 8.1 um, because it works really well and um, I use it on a regular basis. So that's Skype. So now also the sound recorder, which um, I think it's really handy if you want to record just a snippet of your audio and um, just click on this. And all the apps are really beautifully designed. As again, I really do enjoy uh, Microsoft's uh, app design language. So that's all the apps and stuff. And also the tiles, the, if you haven't noticed, you can click on any of these tiles right click on any of these tiles and you can resize them to um, some choices some tiles you can do it to up to four and some tiles like this one for example the uh, the calculator app you can only do it twice because the default size or the size to begin with is pretty small and as you can see I have a call but I'm not gonna answer it sorry about that um, so if you right click and you click on customize you can um, customize it uh, you can change the group name if you even if you recall that uh, from Windows 8 so it's really um, cool you can resize the tile size and stuff and also the other thing I want to talk about is how um, you can personalize your start screen which I think it's uh, extremely handy so if you go over the charms menu if you remember just go over here and if you click on settings all right and you click on tiles uh, oh not tiles personalize you get some um, personalization options right out of the bat here um, get this and it instantly you can just see what it looks like and it's really cool some of it's really cool and um, you can change the background color and you can also change the accent color so you can make your start screen look really wacky or really funky and stuff so that's really nice get the custom base customization options and um, there are also new settings by the way so if you head over to your account click on your account name change account picture that gets you to the um, PC settings you can customize it you can now in the lock screen you can have uh, uh, a picture from your library uh, library and also the display uh, if I th remember you can um, you can change the uh, the um, the background color of the start screen if I remember and um, you can also make it a slideshow on the lock screen and what I was saying before is you can go to personalize and you can um, add your own picture uh, as the background background image on the start screen so I think that's really cool that's a good feature so that's really and also speaking of settings excuse me you get PC and devices the brand new settings uh, interface you get all the um, that and display and you can uh, see your um, display mouse and touchpad and devices and um, 
By the way, um, I think Windows 8.1 is for both mouse and touch. I really think there's no difference between using um, a mouse and a uh, screen since it, Microsoft really designed this for both and it works like both. And also, if you're someone that doesn't like the charms menu, you can turn it off by going to corners and edges and um, just turn it off. But I like the corners. I think they're really qu quick in getting where I want to be, so I'm just going to leave it on. But if you want, you can do that. So that's the settings. And really, I think that's about it for the start screen, if I um, recall. And the next thing I want to talk about is Guess what guys, there is the start button. The start button is back, but it's fake. Yeah. So yeah, if you see, the start button really is kind of like there just because they, m people want a button here. So basically what Microsoft did is it just added the Windows logo uh, in the front here and all it does is just takes you to the Metro screen. It's not the old start button, which I don't care and I don't miss it. I love the new screen. Uh, metro screen and it looks really beautiful and stuff so I don't really care and uh, the other thing other thing is that if you right click on the Windows logo also aka start button you can quickly shut down and sign out since I assume in the first Windows uh, 8 people didn't know how to shut down their computer I guess so then they just did that and also the new feature that's notable is if you right click on the taskbar and go to properties and click on navigation you have the option to um, skip the start screen just directly boot to where I am right now this uh, the, this the, the, the desktop view so you can um, yeah see um, you go to the desktop you would check this box um, so that's something that you can directly boot into the desktop mode so that's one of the uh, features I guess um, the other thing I want to talk about is uh, Bing search Bing smart search was really really critical one of the uh, main focuses of Windows 8.1 so as you can see Windows 8.1 really hasn't changed a lot well it's not supposed to change a lot since the minor re release of Windows 8.1 so you get a few new features and a Remove to remove uh, removal few new free features and this is what you get um so it's really don't expect to be like you know revolutionary you know it's, it's just still the concept of Windows 8 and but I think the start button is nice looks good at least it looks nice um, anyways so I want to talk about Windows excuse me Bing smart search which is basically if you head over to the smart uh, start screen you can just start typing just start typing whatever you want this is search everything search is integrated throughout the operating system so if you for example you just logged into your computer and you want to search something really quick just start typing what you want for example I'm going to search Stephen Ballmer the CEO of Microsoft just click on enter and then what's really cool about it is that the uh, Bing, it's powered by Bing, by the way. Um, as if you didn't see that, it's powered by Bing. So basically, Bing uh, organizes the ink, the query you just sent in, and just organizes them into a really um, beautiful fashion. That it's like a, a magazine, basically. You have Steve Ballmer, the pictures on the left here. You can read about him on the um, on Wikipedia, um, and then you can just you know just look around and click on you know one of them brings you to the you know the browser and it's just really um, really 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 um, cool uh, that you can do that which is one of my favorite features of uh, Windows 8.1 is uh, that feature so being smart search as you can as I uh, as I mentioned before all you need to just start typing and you can uh, start typing whatever you want and you know, just get results right away when you right from the start screen no going uh, anywhere else so that's one of the features uh, another one of the features I can see Steve Ballmer and this that was the one of the results I clicked on uh, if you recall so 
overall this is what really Microsoft Windows 8.1 represents or is the other new thing I guess is Internet Explorer 11 no oh, this is the new bang.com by the way it looks it's revolutionized and uh, redesigned for Windows 8.1 and this is uh, Internet Explorer 11 which is you know surprisingly Windows um, ex uh, Internet Explorer is really getting to be one of my you know go-to browsers since I really think it's good and it's fast and it's you know simple and intuitive and um, it's not sluggish or anything like that and um, I think it's, it's Internet, Internet Explorer 11 is a big step up from the um, previous Internet Explorer versions. So um, this is really it about Microsoft Windows 8.1. Um, uh, it's really what's different and the new features are the apps and the ability, uh, the new personalization abilities so you can directly boot into the desktop and um, just change the background color of something and uh, change the wallpaper and stuff like that. So um, if you haven't upgraded to Microsoft Windows 8.1, I would highly recommend you to do so. It's, re it's really, you'll notice that everything is fast and really, really fast. And um, everything is really good. And another, oh, I forgot to mention this. This is really important. So basically, if you guys recall that you can, for example, if I'm in, you can snap two apps, two applications on the same, on the, um, two applications on the same screen so basically if I go over to my charms menu and I pull in let's say sound recorder and if you do that just do that just like drag it about halfway and then we release it you get two apps side by side so I basically I could be recording and I could be reading it off my script on word word let's say and also for example it's Microsoft Windows and it's three size, four different places, positions you can put. You can put it here and you can put it here, I think. So that's really cool. Um, one of the snap, snap view features uh, that's really great about Microsoft Windows. So this is really what Microsoft Windows 8.1 is. Just uh, these f few minor changes that I really think small changes that makes a big difference overall. So that really uh, wraps just wraps up my review and walkthrough of Microsoft Windows 8.1 update. So make sure you tune in for my channel and subscribe since I'm going to post a lot more Microsoft Windows 8.1 videos in the upcoming days. I'm going to make tutorials, I'm going to make tips and tricks. So make sure you follow my channel and stay tuned for all of that. And so thank you guys for watching this video and feel free to share with your friends and like the video and um, just just give me some support in the comments below if you want. So thank you guys uh, for watching this video and I wish you have a great day. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.